Hello YouTube and welcome back to MKGP. As many of you know, eight years ago I quit YouTube to become the world famous Perrier spokesperson. Perrier, it's French. Hey, what are you doing in my set? Whoa, whoa, calm down. Wouldn't you like to enjoy a fresh Perrier with me? So French, so good. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm here joined with MKGP, aka my brother, and today we're gonna to be reviewing some of my videos. More specifically, we're gonna be doing a tier list. Our first video is also my oldest video on the channel, and it's called Malad Merg on a Budget. Tim, what do you think of this? Well, it was your first video, so it had to, you know, do some things wrong and some things right. I think this video, it's more of like a C tier. You didn't really have all of the mannerisms of Malad down, but you had enough so you could tell this was actually him on a budget. For sure, for sure. I think I'd have to go F on this, to be honest. I, I, when I watch it, I just, I just cringe, to be honest. I think a couple things I missed were like talking about stories rather than just talking about the ingredients of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but also the loop was missing, which looking back on it, I was an amateur. I didn't know much about that, but it was still like, so next up we have the infamous Nick DiGiovanni on a budget, which is probably where many of you are watching this very video from. And it is his viral sensation, but also I would say one of his best. Not the best Nick DiGiovanni on a budget, but I would say one of his best on a budget videos. I would give this a solid A tier. Uh, for me, it's more on the B tier side of things. There was a loop, which was good, and it was actually my first loop for the channel. And I think uh, it was it was a learning experience, and uh, that's what I really love about this video. So I'd give it a solid average B tier. It was a learning experience that definitely paid off in the end. Listen to my money when I'm getting paid. Next, we have Nick DiGiovanni on a budget part two, and in my opinion, this is one of my better videos, and it's gonna have to go into the A tier. Honestly, this is my favorite Nick DiGiovanni on a budget out of all of them. I think he had the perfect blend of his own character as well as Nick's character and it was just an all-around pretty solid video. Unfortunately, it didn't get quite as much of attention as the first one, but, you know, sometimes that's art, baby. And he did get to eat some peanut butter balls. I did get to eat some peanut butter yeah. balls. Next up, we have Brave Wilderness on a Budget. Now, this one was interesting. I really liked this prop that he uh, had there. I thought that that was a pretty funny part of the video and how he just, you know, used uh, practical effects like ketchup to uh, simulate how uh, he was bruising up and having an allergic reaction. Um, I would give this one another solid A tier. It wasn't as appreciated as some of his other videos, but I think this is up there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one straight into S tier. Uh, me and my buddy uh, Coolio Beans, we had a lot of fun uh, filming and editing this one together. I feel like I did an okay job of like tying the comedic side of it with the actual Brave Wilderness on a budget side of it, and uh, I thought it was a good end result. Okay, so next on the list we have Mr. Beast on a budget. And coming in at 1 minute and 47 seconds long, this was one of my longer on a budget videos. And uh, Tim, what do you think of this? I think that honestly it struggled the most because it wasn't in your shorts format, which is kind of your forte, so it kind of tanked in that uh, category. But all around, I thought it was a pretty good video. It obviously featured our very own camera Matt, which I was glad to see him back in the spotlight. But, I don't know, your jokes were not as on point, but I still liked uh, the overall idea of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this either a B or a C tier. I think the, yeah, like you said, the jokes were a little dry, but um, overall it was like an okay video. Uh, oh, Perrier. That's Perrier. Makes you burp. Next on the list, we have Super Smash Bros. on a budget. And I know you were the cameraman for that. I was so the cameraman. You probably have some, uh, some biased opinion there. But I really like this one, to be honest. This is like one of my favorites. I think we were biking to the park and you were like, yeah, you shouldn't just do uh, destroying another Rubik's Cube because you could make this on a budget. And so that's what I ended up doing. So honestly, this is this goes straight into A tier in my opinion, uh, just because I, I experimented with like, how can I you know, not do creators on a budget, but rather like games or something like that. Triple S, all the way. Triple S, straight to the top. Um, you know why? It's because I'm in it. 
and I was the main star of it. You get me, MKGP, right there in the video. That's why I love this video. But on a serious note, I do like this video because, like he said, it's kind of branching out and going into different genres instead of just YouTubers on a budget. Tried something new with uh, the whole video games on a budget. Next up, we have Dylan LeMay on a budget. Now, personally, I like this video. I thought the voice was a little creepy just because of how accurate it was to how he talks in the very monotone way that he does. Um, I would say this is just like an average video. It felt a lot like the Malad video, not in like a bad way, yeah. but like an average sort of way. So I give this a B or C tier. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Tim. I think it was, I, I kind of had to do it because I did Malad and they're kind of like related in some sort of way. But the voice, I mean, it took like at least an hour to film that because I just couldn't do that with my high voice. <laughs> Next we have a dude perfect on a budget. And this is, of course, where we pretty much started this set. This is one of my most favorite videos to film and, of course, edit, just because I had the challenge of um, fitting, like, five of me's. I don't know how I did that. It was really just a learning experience. And thanks to MPGP for helping me for that. Yep. No problem. Yeah. I enjoyed this video because it's a knockoff of one of my own. Now, you can't find this on my channel anymore. You can if you search hard enough. But I actually did a dude perfect on a budget. Uh, a while back. It wasn't really on a budget, it was more just like a parody. Uh, because this guy had requested that I do a trick three shot Three years video. ago. Three years ago. Uh, and I fulfilled his request in a very ironic way that didn't really pan out, but I think he did a much better job than me on capturing the attitude of Dude Perfect while still making it pretty funny. I think this would have to go on A tier. It's not quite the S tier, but I think A tier is the right word for it. A or B tier, yes. Next up, we have Daniel Mack on a budget. Now, for me, this video didn't really land just because there was only one joke in it, and it was just that he was riding a tricycle. I think this video would have done a lot better and, like, been a lot more hilarious if you just kept amping up the hilarity of it until it was just, like, some guy walking. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. I feel like this video is kind of rushed. You know, I was like, cameraman, do you want to film? Like, a? it'll take five minutes to film, not too many takes, and... To be honest, I just don't think this video was one of my favorites. But I would have to give this C or F tier, to be honest. Alright, next up we have Danny Rizuki on a budget, or the rolled ice cream guy. Now, I think I would give this video, I mean, I thought it was pretty funny. I liked how it wasn't really that successful, the whole rolling the ice cream, but uh, the TikTok voice I thought was very accurate and very hilarious how he was parroting it. Yeah, I would have to give this video at least an A tier, possibly S tier. You know, we had to actually go through a lot to make this video. The original plan to make this video was to get dry ice and then put a towel over it, then a cookie sheet, so that we would have sort of the cold plate thing that is what he uses in his videos. And that completely failed. It, it just wouldn't get cold enough. I think what we ended on was actually really good. Next we have Isaiah Photo on a budget. And this is, in my opinion, one of my underappreciated videos. This is like one of my favorites. I know I say that for like half of these. I had a really fun time. You know, I, I wet my hair and then I actually smeared ketchup on my face, but you couldn't see it on the end video, which was kind of disappointing, but it was still a really fun experience. Yeah, uh, honestly, I have to agree. This one is very underappreciated and it was one of the videos that like when I saw the sweating bullets joke, I like legitimately could not stop laughing and I was just like laughing so much because of that. Um, and then the fart sound effect at the very end, that was actually my idea. So I deserve a little bit of a stipend yeah. there. And finally, we have Nick DiGiovanni on a budget part three. Now for me, this video was kind of average. It was honestly my least favorite of all of the Nick DiGiovanni videos just because it felt a little forced just because like everything is in there, but there's nothing of like you, you know, like there was our dog in there, but that's basically it. I did. Yes, hamster. I did like all of the little Nick DiGiovanni in-jokes that I didn't really get since I'm not a Nick DiGiovanni super fan. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on some parts of that. I think this was kind of like the finale of the series. I don't think I'm going to make a part four. I don't just think that's necessary. You know, I saw a lot of comments from part one and part two just saying, you gotta do flaky salt, you gotta include more of Pesto the hamster. So I feel like this just kind of completed it all. But I'd say B or C tier for and that's all the videos that I have on a budget. There's more coming soon.
Hopefully. Feel great about this. Thank you so much for having me on, and be yep. sure to subscribe to MKGP. Just want to thank all of you that came over from his videos to subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate that. But anyway, keep drinking Perrier, and we'll see you later.